This is the NFL Combine. I was watching it and started thinking, hey, how do you think I would do in these drills? <clears throat> um, there's actually no one there. But still, I wondered how an average person like me would stack up to these powerful athletes. Okay, what people consider to be like an average person might be super subjective, but I, I mean, I'm not out of shape, but I'm not necessarily in shape. In other words, I'm not 244 pounds and have the athleticism to run a 4-4-40 yard dash. Before I get started, here are a few things to know. I'm gonna be doing these five drills. The three cone drill, the vertical jump, shuttle drill, broad jump, and the 40 yard dash. Mainly because I'm by myself and I have no friends that are available right now to help me. You might be asking yourself questions like, Relly, how are you gonna measure the distance? Or Relly, how are you gonna time yourself accurately? We're gonna use a tape measure because the yard is three feet. So for like the 40 yard dash, if I just map out 15 feet, that's five yards. And I just do that until I get to 40 yards. I have cones to be markers along the way. And for the time things, all I gotta do is just have a super wide shot. And with the power of video, we'll be able to figure out what my time is more or less. In other words, here's some quick math to show how I'm gonna get the closest estimate possible. Also, unlike the NFL combine, they're in a control environment and I am outside in the elements it's like 65 degrees I'm on grass I think they're on turf I have on my ultimate frisbee outfit which involves soccer cleats not football cleats it's starting to be spring season so allergies are kicking in <coughs> oh gosh it's gonna be great also I think they give each athlete three chances for each drill I'm not sure but I'm just gonna give myself three tries but before we start I gotta warm up All right, the broad jump consists of basically just jumping as far as you can from a starting point. The NFL combine record is 12 feet, three inches, set by Byron Jones, and the average is apparently 10 feet. I'm just hoping I can get like six, maybe seven. Six and a half, let's go with six and a half. Your boy here, he got eight feet. Look at that, that's crazy. I shocked myself. All right, I gotta try to get higher than eight feet or more than eight feet. Oh. Okay, I took a step back, but I landed here. To me, that looks like eight feet and three inches. Right? Eight feet, three inches? Dang. Seven feet, 10 inches. So it was shorter. So my second jump was the furthest one. On to the next one. This is the shuttle run, the shuttle drill, the 5, 10, 5, whatever you want to call it. But the idea is that you start in the middle and then you run five yards to the right and then you run 10 yards to the left. Then you run five yards back through the finish line. The fastest times were by uh, Jason Allen and Brandon Cooks with a record of 3.81 seconds. I have no idea what the average is, but I'm just going to say it's like four and a half seconds. I'm just going to aim for five and a half seconds, maybe six seconds. With the power of video, we're gonna see what my time is. What's also interesting about this one is I won't be able to know what my time is until I edit this video. So I'm just gonna have to run as fast as I can, three times, and that's it. This is a technicality, but I didn't touch down with my left hand when I came back. Let's just hope I did a good job. Because if I did it, then I'll try my best. Vertical jump, you just jump straight up and see how high you can get. I'm gonna measure mine by using the old fashioned way, measure my standing reach and then jump and measure the distance between those two. As far as the combine goes, Chris Conley has the highest vertical jump at 45 inches. That's terrible. That's like barely even a foot. This is the day after the other drill, so maybe that's, maybe my legs are tired. Not the excuses. You're old. You can do better. You're not trying hard enough. Just accept it. No excuses, man. That's, from what I know I was able to do, that's pitiful. Seriously, 26 inches? That's it? This, this is one of the ones I definitely would rather, I'd, I'd do again at some point in the future. Three cone drill, well, it technically has four, but it's basically three cones. The fastest three cone drill is 6.42 seconds by Jeff Mayo. May Mayo? I think that's how you say it. It said that like top performers get 6.5. Again, I won't be able to see what time I get, but I'm gonna hope for like seven and a half, eight.
took that corner too wide and I kind of slowed down. That's my own fault. That slip on the last one got me. Shoes untied and everything. The 40 yard dash is exactly what it sounds like. You line up, you run straight for 40 yards. The fastest one was 4.22 seconds by John Ross in 2017. Before you say anything about my form, there's a whole thing with my left shoulder. It's, it's an old video I have on my channel. You can go watch it. It'll explain most of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run that back when the season starts this year. Yeah. Sunday morning views quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you. Cause your Sunday morning views quickly turn my heart.